Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. Now this short video is about updating your Crossfire module. Uh, it's very simple to do and it's the same, exactly the same process for the tracer. So let's switch over to my computer. Let's launch Agent X. Okay, and you can see I've got my Crossfire and my tracer up on the screen. Now, if I go to the Crossfire and go to firmware, you can see I've, there's a beta release. It was released on the 28th of January. It's a little bit strange that this has popped up so late because it's now March, because I do check all firmwares to see when they're going to be updated so I can let you know in a short video. Anyway, back to this. So, okay, so there is a release 4.1. Now we go, we need to plug in our unit. We don't need the unit plugged into the radio, not at all. We can just plug our USB-C in and then plug into our computer. And you can see now it's showing we're online. So if we go back in here, you'll see, we're gonna wait, just gonna want to show you, this will go green. There we go, it's gone green. So we're gonna click on there. Look at that, the firmware. Now, you, as I already showed you, we've got version 4.11, and if we had the release notes, it's only an improved, uh, it's an improved Mavlink stability. So I don't use Mavlink, but let's do the update anyway. So we are going to click update. I'm going to leave this in real time so you can see how long it takes to do the update. So we click update. And there you go, you can see the module is blinking green. And there we go, job complete. I really do like the way you update your TBS products like this, where you don't have to take the receiver out of the aeroplane or, or push the bind button. I think that's really great. Now, let's take a look at my model. I'm gonna use my clouds model to do the update of the firmware on the receiver. You won't be able to see it because it's buried inside of the aeroplane, but uh, let's switch over to that now. Now let's update the receiver in my model. Now the first thing we need to do is power up our transmitter, which I have. Then we're gonna go into our Lewis scripts and into Agent X. Okay, then we're gonna select our micro TX and we are gonna go into here. And before we power up the model, we say bind. Then we plug our model in. Okay, and the bind okay ready. So we want to push enter to start the process. Okay, so it says update micro, uh, micro RX. So we're gonna confirm that by pushing enter.
This is in my clouds plane, so it's difficult for me to film this. And the receiver's buried inside the fuselage. I can't get to it easily. So this is uh, a great bonus with TBS that you don't have to go and try and get to a bind button. I'm going to leave this in real time so you can see how long it takes. There you go, binding OK, ready. So enter to execute or return to close. So we should be bound there now. So we can test this. Yep, everything's good. Aileron's working. So there we go, that's how we update our receiver on our model for the TBS crossbar. Thanks for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below because I'd love to hear from you. And thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.